clearly didn't think about how awkward it would be to talk directly into a camera without being able to see what you look like, but let's get into it right away because I watched these- I'm rambling already, but I watched their story videos and I just want to see the clothes. I don't care about anything else. So that's what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> so this beautiful dress, I'm just going to show you some of like my- favorite finds first and then I'll show you like my most recent find. This beautiful dress says, will it focus? I don't know if it's focused because I can't see. It says it's Alexander McQueen um but I got it for $5.99 at Goodwill. For the most part I'm so cheap that I when I go to Goodwill I only go on half price days and buy things when they are half price off of the Goodwill price. So mostly like, maybe I'll try them on? I don't know. I don't know if people care. I can't remember if I care. I'm too, too nervous. <laughs> this one, which is actually Kate Spade RIP today. This was supposed to be $20, right? Do you see that? $20! <laughs> but I got it for 10 because I waited until it was half off. And yeah. I do shop for just like brands I recognize because I feel like they'll be better quality. I don't know. Okay, look at this pile that I have that I have prepared for today. It's pretty gross. Also, I'm actually gross. I haven't showered in like three days, so I thought that was the perfect time to make a video and show you my greasy hair and everything might be backwards. And scenes are going to be clothing appearing every which way, cats appearing, you know, you never know. <laughs> this is Grendel. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Oh yes, oh yes, let me continue. <laughs> All right, we, these Jeffrey Campbell shoes I found at St. Vinny's St. Vincent de Paul, sorry. Um, pretty sure they're just like Urban Outfitters, Jeffrey Campbell's though. But still really cute. I need to wear them more now. But I'm like really scared of flats. Yeah, I don't need to elaborate on any of that. Okay. Can, can you see they're pretty cute, you know? Up next I have a beautiful free people dress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? Okay, it's a little complicated. I promise I'm not an idiot. All right. So, look at that. Wow. I, can't, I have to show this on because it doesn't make any sense off. <laughs> but it's got these big sleeves and it's all flouncy. And, okay, I've been trying to buy a lot more of this like blue color and I'm trying to buy more like form-fitted, not form-fitted, but waist-fitted dresses, because I've been wearing, like, not, not good, <laughs> like, loose clothes that is just not as flattering, so I'm trying to find flattering color, this is, like, the color of my eyes, I'm just going off of that, honestly, <laughs> I don't know anything. Moving on. This was half off, so it was five dollars, not ten dollars. I have no idea what my camera's focusing on, <laughs> dee dee dee, but it's free people. And it feels brand new, and it's just beautiful. Okay. Oh, I found this recently, and I was so pumped because I was so devastated when Tom Petty died this past year. Um, I'm a fucking weirdo, and I laid in the grass and cried outside of my school. Um, but yeah, I found this Tom Petty t-shirt that I'm probably going to cut just a little bit because it's too weirdly proportioned for my taste. And it was $2.99. Beautiful. I'm folding these as if I fold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is a beautiful prize possession. This is David Bowie in the Labyrinth. Wow. Yeah, probably $3.99 from Goodwill. Yep. Awesome. I'm either wearing dresses or black t-shirts, apparently. Okay, let's see. 
Another free people dress I've been wearing a lot this summer already is this yellow one. It's just form-fitted really nicely. I'm like shaking. Why am I such a baby? <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, I just shake all the time. Too. This is about to be the choppiest video of all time. But that's real life. <laughs> all right. And this, I love, I love, it's so ugly, it, but I just love it. Three dollars. How do I show this whole thing? <laughs> the pattern is so cute. I really want to get like some white boots with this. isn't in view but whatever um, I also have these puppies that I got for my birthday I think two years ago in Goodwill <laughs> that I found yep Adidas Sambas and they were like dirty when I found them but they were also like five dollars and I've been wanting these pink ones for so long I love when you find this exact thing you've wanted in a Goodwill, that's the most, ooh, <laughs> that's the most invigorating feeling in the world. Okay. And then recently, for $7, I found these puppies, which are another pair of Harley Davidson boots with a shit ton of buckles. They feel a little more like smoking a cigarette on the side of the road next to your motorcycle chick vibe, but also I get kind of like 80s, like, homecoming goth girl vibe um so either or both great vibes they're really cute and they have like a really nice heel and these ones don't have they have like a baby heel but I still love them this romper I got from Goodwill no this romper I got from a thrift store <sighs> a thrift store that's kind of like a consignment D like la la la, we choose what we sell here, type thing. But I think it was still like five dollars. And it's American Eagle. Um, these are really exciting. I got these recently too. Um, these were actually on a mannequin at, at Goodwill. Sometimes they actually have really good outfits on the mannequin, so you have to check those out. Uh, another tip. I kind of go, well I really try to remember to do this, is to check the stuff by the changing room first because like they're going to put it back like, and maybe I won't see it if I've already gone through where they put it back. So I try to go there first just in case someone like cute had already chosen some stuff that didn't work out. So anyway, these were on the mannequin. But they're leather top shop uh, shorts. They're really small. I don't know how they fit me. I swear to God. And they're leather. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But I, I love them. Or maybe Topshop just has weird sizes. I think that could be it. But they're really nice. And I already got, like, a compliment when I wore them in public from, like, a really cute mom. And, um, goal. That's my goal when I wear anything. <laughs> Alright. So, what's next? This I got recently still has its tag on it, too. Back when I was shopping for, like, form-fitting stuff. Back when, being literally last weekend. <laughs> so it was $5. This pattern is so weird. <laughs> but I don't have this color that much. And I don't have this style. Oh, that's not true. I'm trying to buy a lot of wraparound dresses. I think they're really flattering and just awesome. Um, just awesome, dude. <laughs> I love those wraparound dresses. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Just like little bows. I used to wear like homemade DIY bows in middle school. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. Uh, that's actually embarrassing. Um, whatever. DIY queen. Uh, this is a recent one too. But I already wore it so I took the tag off. No boundaries. It's like a juniors from the 90s. Um, shit, it's not buttoned up. I'm too lazy, but it buttons all the way up. It's like calf, mid-calf length, but it has a huge slit. 
and then it has like a really cute tie around in the back and just this color is so good like this violet my hair was that color I mean this is probably three dollars I also found touch the hair touch the hair <laughs> This shirt. <laughs> Alright, I also found this shirt, which uh, I don't. It was $3.99, but it was half off, so it was only $2. Um, and I also see it on my like advertisements for Nasty Gal, because I always get Nasty Gal advertisements on my like. on just website. Mm -hmm. I got this <laughs> Moschino shirt. I don't know how to pronounce things that are fashion labels, but I got this about two years ago and I wear it pretty frequently in the springtime because it just looks like springtime to me. It's sleeveless, it's like zip up, it's pretty cute, pretty fresh. Ripe tomato review. And then, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what it is, I think it's fresh, yeah, okay. Now this shouldn't be as wrinkly as it is. I'm just a piece of crap. This is a D&G button up that I found at Savers before it went out. I have no idea where the camera is focusing, but this is a beautiful button up shirt in bright orange to really channel your like prison bitch energy. Um, this is one of my favorite recent finds, is this Zara skirt that I actually got at a consi consignment shop. <laughs> I can't believe I just, I can't believe I'm fumbling. I'm sitting alone in my room fumbling. Alright. This is really cute though. And it had, it was new with tags, it, and it said it was made from pig remains. <laughs> I don't know why I went into it like that. Um. The leather is more ethical because it's made with the remains of already used pigs so they didn't have to slaughter any other pigs. That's what I meant by that. But I really like it. Guess shorts, acid wash, jean shorts, high waisted, a little uh, rough around the edges. I've been channeling this 80s vibe and wearing more colors so this is good with all those black t-shirts. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place with what I'm telling you I wear, but <laughs> wear it all, you know? This is good. I wow. <laughs> and finally, I've always wanted to be John Waters. Um, I know this is a knockoff, obviously, but it's CDG and it was like I mean it's a CDG knockoff that I got for like two dollars at one of the Goodwill locations around my neighborhood. I really like it. It's really cozy. It's really obviously a knockoff though. <sighs> okay, last thing I'm gonna show you is another facet of my outfit choices, which is like, if it looks like something a hot kindergarten teacher would wear, then I'm buying it. So, this like really cute form-fitted skirt, it was probably two dollars, half off the $3.99 at Goodwill. Um, but it's like some random brand, you know what I mean? Random. <laughs> but it has, it's kind of wrinkled because again it's been on my floor. But it has this cute like cut petals and shit and like perfectly fitted cinched around the waist. I love it. I love it. Yes! I think I did it. Yay! Okay, I'll probably have to film an outro, I don't know how this works.